<laughs> so they're excessively yeah. loud. I said, mm, okay, it's a balcony day. Cool. <laughs> and look what I'm rocking. Oh, oh. Let mm. go. My mm. favorite hoodie, you know what I'm saying? Is it weird if I had that? If is it weird if I had that hoodie? Nah, nah man. You know, You're supporting the cause, but supporting the movement. <laughs> Are y'all still eating Halloween candy? I am. I'm mad because I never got any candy corn, so I gotta go get me some candy oh, corn. Wait, what? I think y'all need. Bro, they, it's better. gonna be on sale now. This is even better. That's for you. what I'm saying. It's Did gonna be like candy? two dollars. Did you say candy corn? Yes, I love candy corn. I'm one of those people, and I'm not ashamed. Oh, you should be. <laughs> it's not bad. It's just really sugary. You know what bothers me with candy corn is they chose corn out of all the vegetables. Like, like they they thought corn was like, yeah, we should we should do a candy version of that. <laughs> what else would that candy beets? But yeah, it doesn't corn. taste like corn. No, I mean, but you want to you want to appeal to the audience. You want to get something that's like, what's a what's a vegetable fruit that everyone likes and make a candy version out of it? Everyone tomatoes. Likes Everyone. Well, they already have candy apples. That's so not a candy apple. He said fruit or vegetable. Right. Well, there's hella candy fruits. And you actually, can't... candy corn does have corn. It's like high, what is it? High fructose corn, corn, corn syrup. syrup. You're talking about corn syrup. I did learn that right. if you stack them, it, it, you can build the corn on the cob looking. Ah, that's get... why it's called candy corn. That yeah, makes... I saw somebody do that. that that's right. a lot well, if of you time. just bite the yellow tip off of all of them, then it looks like you have whole kernel corn. Jesus. Oh, that's that's just gross. Me? That shit is yeah, like you get down to the last nub. I don't like, like it. All that shit is nasty. It should be against the law. I don't know what factories are still making candy corn, but I feel like they're gonna shut down immediately. I'm not bad. It tastes like sweet like wax. This. Think of it like this yeah, here. Yeah. Candy wax. corn. Candy corn is like comedy. It's subjective. No, it's, it's an not. audience. It's, no, it's an not. audience of people that love candy corn. Nobody's oh, buying it. They keep making a lot of it every year. They not. But I think. I, use, I think. I, I think all it. the stuff that they give away every year is like what's left over from the first batch, the original batch, when they was like, "This is gonna be a hit," and they still got like eighty-five million tons left. So they just gonna keep going. Yeah, because it's all it. It came stale. Like when they made it, it immediately got stale when it was hit with the air, and they were just like, "Oh, this shit ain't gonna go no staler than what it is." It's like honey; it wow. won't go bad. Yeah, I, think, I love the way I, your mind works. I think I candy corn, uh, but butter the bread, and and sweet potato should be always in clearance racks. All what was the second the thing you said? The butt of the bread. You know the the, you don't, the bread. You in. don't eat the booty butt. You don't eat the butt of the bread. Not, not first. If it's like, damn it, I have one bread left. Let me go ahead and just make this sandwich with the top. It actually gets a bad rep. It's kind of nice. It's like yeah, it's sometimes just too much bread. You it's like sweet potato bread. Kind of like spongy. It's it's kind of spongy a little bit. It's kind of good. Well, it's it literally is just the corners though. It's not. There's no bread on it. It's it's like it the, is bread. bread. The whole thing is bread. Even the crust is bread. Listen, it's, it's like it's like that. Like if you slice a watermelon, like just right down, right? It ain't like, like that. the end of that. <laughs> it's still it got a little watermelon on this side. It's got, got a, a swig of the, the red. A swig of the red on it. It ain't rind. You talking about bread rind? Yeah. <laughs> it's not like that. It gets a bad rep. I'm gonna bring this it. A, that's that. just trash. Now, Dion, did you say sweet potatoes? You said you said candy corn. Uh, the booty bread, bread and, and then you say sweet potatoes or sweet no, potato uh, pie? Um, uh, pumpkin pie. Okay, yes. Okay, now that I agree with you wholeheartedly. Wholeheartedly. But I like pumpkin flavor, though. I'm all about Starbucks. I get my chai tea latte, add the little pumps of pumpkin in it. It's great. You know what? That was a phase. I, I, I had that phase for like two years and then like I phased pumpkin spice flavored anything completely out of my okay. life. They should have sweet potato spice. Now you're fucking talking to me. <laughs> wow. I mean, now you're talking. It, since it's always a comparison, they should like don't even capitalize on Wait, wait. Sweet That's potato hilarious. spice is like nutmeg and cinnamon. No, we're talking <laughs> about like the sweet potato pie flavor. Sweet potato fly, uh, pie flavor creamer. But it, I'm That's telling it. you, if you get, like, for example, I know this one company makes a peach cobbler flavored, um, it's just peach cobbler seasoning. But it's basically when you look at the ingredients, it's exactly the stuff that you use in sweet potato pie. So when you taste it, it tastes like sweet potato pie. But then 
also when you taste it, you're like, wait, this also tastes like peach cobbler because it's the same seasonings uh, that you never no, thought no, about. Marketing though, because mm-hmm. to Dion's point, white people get made fun of a lot for like pumpkin spice, like it's fall pumpkin spice lattes. But if it was sweet potato lat- lattes, I feel like that opens up a whole black market. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. You make a killing. Yeah. You make a hell of a killing. Not as funny anymore because it's like, because <laughs> <laughs> like, it just sounds good. You can't really. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's like, I want to try it. I definitely want to try it. <laughs> sweet potato lat- lattes. Yeah, <laughs> it's crazy because uh, it? it does not that, sound good. That you would think be about sweet potato coffee. <laughs> a sweet potato flavored latte would be fire, but you don't want like a sweet potato nine later. I don't know why that's too much. <laughs> why is that too much? You wouldn't want a pumpkin spice now and now and later too. Yeah. You wouldn't. You wouldn't. But you'll put it in the coffee. But like in a now later form or laffy taffy form, you're fucking psycho, bro. You know what's really good though? Pumpkin eggnog. Oh my gosh. Oh, that is good. I've had that. It's I've had so that. good. I love Man, where do you live that they sell shit like they that? They sell it in LA. I actually found it in LA. That was the first place I found it at Ralph's. Oh, sure. Is yeah. by this company called Hood of all names. Hood. There's everything you need to know. It has pumpkin flavor. And I think also Kroger has it too, for those of you who don't have yeah, Ralph's. You put it in Ralph's. Yeah, I don't think it's a pumpkin. I mean, yeah, they're the same company actually, but it Hood makes a pumpkin eggnog, or you can get another brand. But for some reason, it's like 10 times better than regular eggnog. Have you actually, have you actually tasted pumpkin? Like no, nothing added. I don't think no one has ever done it. As in like, you went in there and was like, we don't even know if yeah, pumpkin actually carve, tastes like, like pumpkin. back in the day when I would carve them, I would taste it just to be like, okay. So is this, what do they what what are they making the pumpkin pie out of? Are they making it out of the innards of the pumpkin? It, like yeah, what? it's the same yeah. thing as like sweet potatoes. It's the innards of the sweet potatoes. Yeah, but sweet potato sugar is, is more sugar enough. than pumpkin. I've right? not you, you add sugar just like you add to sweet potato pie. You add sugar to pumpkin pie. The meat I never. Taste the pumpkin by itself. Yeah, the meat of the pumpkin on the inside, and you like boil it, and then you mash it up just the same way you do with sweet potatoes. Oh, but not the insides, because when you cut the the top off, it seems like there's always already like a no, not of- like the seed, because you know it's like it's like cantaloupe. We're talking about cantaloupe. You know, in cantaloupe, you have like the meat of the cantaloupe, and then you also have the seeds, but you also have that. Right. All that nasty vine, veiny stuff. Yeah, but cantaloupe is not hollow. Pumpkins always are hollow. Like they right. just be like, it be like the rind, and then a but little. They, but on the, so all the I know, but when you, it's the meat. It's the meat in there. <laughs> I don't feel like it's enough. Really meat. was meat in there. It don't. Seem but like I don't know how many pumpkins is in a pumpkin pie. Okay, we don't know. <laughs> can you eat the size of a pumpkin? Pumpkins? I don't know. But can you eat a pumpkin like an apple? Like, can you eat the sides? <laughs> or if you that's like, like asking if you could eat a watermelon like apple. Why would you want to eat the rind like that? Well, that's what I'm asking. That outer part is mostly rind. It's there's like no meat in it. No, there's meat once you get past like the skin. To me, it feels more like cantaloupe, like a honeydew. I've never seen like, somebody eat the side of a pumpkin. pumpkin. No it's one has ever pumpkin. eaten pumpkin as is. I I, I can't even picture <laughs> nobody's like, yeah, let's let's crack that shit open. <laughs> Let's get the spoons. <laughs> That's why I don't get how they Wait, survive. Wait, is pumpkin a like, fruit or a vegetable? It's, it's a, a fruit. It is, it is a bay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's not give it any sort of titles right now. It's a fruit. Through a transition. And a Scientifically, it has seeds in it, so it's a fruit. because because sweet potato was a, a vegetable. What was the other surprise? Yeah. Tomatoes are are technically fruit. The fruit, yeah. But yeah, you don't put it in a fruit salad. Yeah. Yeah. Says who? There's a lot of fruits you don't put in a fruit. Who salad. is putting tomato in a fruit salad? <laughs> you don't put durian in a fruit salad either, but it's still a fruit. <laughs> they probably do in like Thailand. <laughs> right, tomato is a fruit. Yeah, I think pumpkin, pumpkins are fruits. Yeah. I hate when I hate when people revealed that tomato was a fruit, and I'm like, damn it, dude! I, I'm stuck with that as a vegetable, man. There's a lot of weird ones, like strawberries aren't berries, but bananas are. Right. What bananas are berries? Oh my God. I didn't know that. Evidently, y'all remember when they tried to add that thirteenth uh, zodiac sign? Mm-hmm. Fucked everybody. Yeah, that lasted for like two months. <laughs> we rejected that. Wait, what? Yeah. Pumpkin is a fruit. Okay. Yes. 
wait, why, how could you add more Zodiac, but not more? And what years? was it? They've, re they've really tried it. And then it had a stupid name. We all rejected it. Just like <laughs> Pluto is still on that. And I don't care what anyone It went away says. real that, quick. It went away real quick. Like, he was like, hey, oh, man, I got off, cancer on my arm, man. Ophiuchus. It's like Ophiuchus or something. Yeah, Ophiuchus. Who they were like, bro, it's we're not going to throw away all of these posters <laughs> no. and all of these planners and all of these books to add this fucking sign. Get the fuck out of here, man. What about the people who, like, live their life by that, but they're right on the cutoff? So everything <laughs> that they like that there was them was like, I'm a Virgo. And then it shifted. And it's like, I'm a what? I'm a yeah. I got a big the ass Libra. Got got two on my back. The thing that was weird about it, like, my, my Zodiac sign didn't change even when they added the new Zodiac. So I definitely didn't care. And I was like, whatever. I'm a Leo. Mama named me Leo. I'm a Leo. Like, I'm not, this is stupid. Man, it was two months. And then we all just forgot about it. It just so went they, away. Did they did they find a new star or something? Why? What was the reason? Because yeah, it, NASA says when they, no. NASA said there wasn't a new star. Because remember when they tried to say that Pluto wasn't a planet? They can go to hell. Pluto is a planet. Okay? <laughs> That's the home. I got they came I got an A backpack. on my solar system project when I was a kid. You're not taking Pluto out. Pluto is always a planet. It ruined, so. Them taking Pluto out ruined everything. Now it's just my very educated mother just ordered us nine. <laughs> <laughs> ordered us napkins. Just end it with the order of us napkins. <laughs> <Ordered> <laughs> napkins. Like, did you just have a stroke? Why'd you stop talking? It's like <laughs> Nine. <laughs> then they backpedaled science and was like, nah, that's a planet again. Our bad. Like, what? My bad. Yeah, they, be doing, they be doing some stuff, bro. They because be we rejected stuff. it. We did not allow it. How do you petition science, though? Like, no. Nah. We were it like, says nah. anybody between November 29th and December 17th would no longer be a Scorpio or Sagittarius, <laughs> but an Ophiuchus. Ophiuchus? A few, I think it's a few chis or a few. That was kids. another problem. We never knew how to say it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nobody knew how to say it except the motherfucker that made it up. Let me tell you, you something. You go to hell, sir. Let me tell you something. I'm a Pisces and I'm still struggling how to spell Pisces. I always spell pieces. <laughs> I spell pieces all the time. <laughs> I feel like, fuck, what is it? Is it the S first or the C first? <laughs> <laughs> it's the S, like science, Pisces. Pisces. Man. Yeah, yeah. It, it, I, I need I need to wait for that red squiggle line to kick in up like okay. <laughs> <laughs> but don't you hate when the red squiggly line don't kick in? So now you Yo. gotta use a whole different word. You like man? I need that squiggle. <laughs> I, <need> that. <laughs> I for sure need that squiggle. Oh, you know what I'm trying to say? I'm trying to say technical, man. Stop saying technique. No, it's technical. Help me. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Convenience be kicking my ass every fucking time. Why? Convenience That's is the hard. most inconvenient right. word to spell. That I and that E, and then the C somewhere in there, it'd be lobby like, like yeah. man, fuck it. Yeah. It's not Why? it's not a good time for me. <laughs> See, I have trouble with necessary. necessary. Unnecessary grabs me by necessary. Yes. I'd be like, where's the ends? Where's the double ends? Oh my yes. god, I got unnecessary, yes. but definitely convenience oh man yeah. we tear that my ass so up. easy to hear no, i don't man. care what you said meg i said me oh, i said you had my oh. ass up it's hard because remember to hear when i did wording is hard you had a fact that said like the i before e you know how that's how we learned to i before e except after c but then you had like it was like 900 something words that don't even follow the follow i before rule. e and i was like why is it there take yeah. it out why did we get that rule well, who came up with the rule that's not a rule? And the sometimes There's legit, why? like almost a thousand words that was like, fuck your rule, cuz. Yeah. <laughs> we'll right. do that. It really just we'll rhymes. I think they made, the, they made the bar first and then found the exceptions and they're like, damn. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Did you already put that in there? Keep it rolling, though. I yeah. have to accept that. Listen, this is as good a place as any for us to kick off this episode. I want to give a big shout out to the original squad, Meg Scoop, Patrick Cloud. I'm to hear more. Our special guest in the house today, we have Ms. Todd Davis. We also have Dion Lack in the yeah. building representing Ohio. Dayton, ladies and gentlemen, put it up. Uh, we're about to kick it off right now, right after this. How many of you wish there was a better solution to paying off your debt? Our sponsor, PDS Debt has customized 0% interest options for those of you struggling with credit cards, personal loans, 
medical bills, collections, or any other type of debt. Because of the tough year for COVID-19, certain types of debt can now be reduced and in some cases be completely eliminated from your credit. PDS Debt is giving our listeners a free copy of the credit report just for completing the 30-second online debt assessment at pdsdebt.com slash squad. You'll get a full breakdown of all the interest you shouldn't be paying each month and multiple options on how they can help you get rid of it. If you're making payments every month on your debt and the balances aren't going down, this program is for you. The average American with a credit card or a personal loan debt over $5,000 ends up paying back two and a half times what they originally spent. PDS Debt rolls all your payments into one low 0% interest monthly payment. Everyone with over $5,000 of debt qualifies and there's no minimum credit score required. Bad and fair credit is accepted. Save thousands in interest fees. Pay off your debt in a fraction of the time. PDS Debt is offering our listeners a free credit report just for completing the quick and easy debt assessment at www.pdsdebt.com slash squad. That's P-D-S-D-E-B-T dot com slash squad. That's squad with two Ds. Take back your financial freedom today by visiting pdsdebt.com slash squad. First topic of the day, would you rather spend six months outside versus six months inside? By outside, you mean homeless? Well, I mean, you could you could do a tent, you know what I'm saying, or oh, make... Man. No, not necessarily. You could be living yeah. in the cabin. I mean, living in the woods. Wait, wait, wait. But if, if you have a tent, once you zip it up, aren't you technically inside? Technically, yes, but you wouldn't have all the amenities of a house or an apartment. You don't have running water. You don't have a shower. You don't have a... Uh, a toilet. This would just to be protect you from the elements and and the, and, and the insects and the animals and all that type of stuff. So basically, either camping or like, I don't know, a freezing cold city where you never go outside. It don't even I have mean, to be freezing cold. It, 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 it can literally just be like COVID. Like you can't go outside to get food. You can't go outside to work out. You have to do, do everything in your house. So you're ordering food. You're ordering groceries to cook food. Okay. Friends have to come over and see you. You just cannot leave the house. Can, can we that. choose what season of the year this is? Why does it matter if you inside and you wait, got eight wait. Six months? Because, because you if you oh, outside God. camping during the freaking winter, that is an absolute no. I thought you were referring to the house part, Meg. I'm sorry. Yes, let's, <laughs> I did too. Let's, let's, I'm just like, what the fuck? You got walls and a roof, nigga. What the fuck are you talking I about? I want to be inside during spring. Because <laughs> <laughs> the squid, squid game is playing. I want to watch that. The season two. Okay. <laughs> so let's say that you're inside during like that that spring to summer the tail end of spring going into summer so the weather is perfect it's the perfect time to be outside and during the outside you are fall into the first week of like winter so it's like a little chilly but it's not unbearable no why don't you just make them both the same because you want to be outside during the good weather and you don't want to be outside doing the bad weather meg that's how you make them equal Listen, oh, based on this whole discussion, I want to be inside away from you niggas while y'all are figuring this out because this is very difficult. I just inside, final answer. Okay, continue. This isn't even a, a debate because I mean toilet and shower and and bed is really all it but all let's it. talk about let's talk about cabin fever. Are you by yourself? That, that you shit know? is real. Cabin fever is real. Yeah. I was I was doing anything to get out the house. I was really going to the gas station like six times a day. <laughs> you said six times a day. I was going. Yeah, I, I knew all the people at the Seven Eleven, and it's not even being racist. His name was Muhammad. The other one's name was Hashif. Like I really knew them, and I was whole conversation with them about. You knew that before the pandemic. No, not like <laughs> this level. Hey, Hashif, level. you got my you got my hot dogs, in, my hot dogs, daily hot dogs. Man, we was in there talking about all types of shit. I was talking about racetracks and all that type of shit. I ain't give a fuck. I just wasn't ready to go home yet. Help me, help me, brother. <laughs> and and is, it, it it determines if is it a big house? Are you by yourself? Can you have company? You know all that have company. All that factors in when it comes to being inside the house. You, you can have company, company in your tent. 
<laughs> hey, brother, give me a scoot over a little bit. Here we go. Hey. No, but I feel like no, I feel like the tent and the house, whatever the size is, they're the same. So living space is not a. It doesn't matter. They're Do I have a generator? The tent is not the same. The tent it has is to only be. Your, it has to be. It the does same. not have to be. It does not. That have doesn't to be make that. sense then to no, hear why the, would the anyone whole, choose outdoors? Man, hold on now. Hold on. <laughs> the tent is literally just to fight against the elements when you're sleeping. Or are you trying to take a nap? So that's just like if it starts raining because it's like, you know, it's fall slash winter. So it's raining or something. So you're not sleeping on a wet, cold ground. It's There's not big for like tents. It. Have you never gone camping? I know there are big tents, Meg. I know there are tents that sleep 10 to 15 people. That's not Why what it's for. Why can't that be it? Why can't that be? Because you're supposed to be outside, Megan. I am outside. Don't even think about the tent until it's time to go night night or take a nap nap, okay? Other yeah, okay. than that, you are at you are outside. You're at the park. Oh, you're fishing. You're 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 on a on a deck or whatever. You're not in the tent during the daytime. You're transient during the day. Fish. <laughs> So the restroom, we can go, we can go inside like 24 hour fitness and Starbucks use the restroom, right? Or we had to go outside. Nah, you outside, my boy. You digging holes outside. and pissing on trees. What? That alone. There's, that alone. Boy, wait, no, no, no. No, because there's no the last place I went camping, they had a little shower, but it was like open on top. So technically that's it's still outside. That's fine. that's fine. You could do that. You could that's do that. And they had hot oh. and cold water. That's a, okay. that's a workaround. That's what a workaround. About, uh, you said that you said that if you're inside, food can come. So does that mean to get food? Cause I'm assuming we're not like, like dead broke outside, right? No, nah, yeah, yeah, you got money, you got money to survive. Okay, but you can't go inside the restaurant, right? You have to, <laughs> you have to stand outside one of those. Oh, curbside pickup? Yeah, curbside, take it back to your little camp front, you know? <laughs> here's okay. the thing, All right, here's a caveat, here's a caveat. You still have access to Wi-Fi. You're close enough to where you can use public access <laughs> Wi-Fi and it's strong. So you can stream shit. Sir, sir, get away from, get away from my house. Oh, I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to tweet, tweet what about laundry? Do we have to like pay people to go inside the laundromat? You, you buy a lake, my nigga. So you a lake? No, you can get you can do fluff and fold. You, you can you can drop it off. You can do you can drop it off to get it done. You can fluff and fold. Boards in a bucket. I don't, I don't even get how that washed clothes. Did anybody know how that works? <laughs> that is a lot of it was, it, was, it was the it was the grooves of the thing that helped get the dirt out. So when you washed it, you rubbed it against it and it would get the, the stains and the dirt out. They didn't pull it through. They You're just, talking like he that's something that different. Before. So the roller is how they dried it. That's how you got the water out when you did the roller. That shit is crazy though, because if you got your finger stuck in there, nigga. You could literally like break your finger getting it stuck in there because those rollers. When are, did like, you do this? Nineteen thirty-seven. Why? No, nah, my my grandma that? had one in the basement. I remember playing with it. I almost fucked myself up. You were when she told you to wash your clothes, wash your clothes here. Yes, grandma. No, like, <laughs> <laughs> and to ring it out, you put it through that little roller thing. I can probably, I, I I can probably do it on my on my titties and, and muffin top and hips like. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever the ass. washing machine said hell no to that. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, there's no way I'm doing this. But you know what would be, so I feel like that's actually a really, if you're in LA, the weather's perfect. Like, you know, like fall going into, yeah, I mean, it's perfect. You could, you could do a lot. Here's the thing. When you're inside, you just want to be outside. When you're stuck in the house and the weather's good, you're thinking about, even if, like what's one thing that I did do me and the family we like went to the park play frisbee we played bagman we did shit that we normally just wouldn't have the time or wouldn't think about doing because we were just stuck in the house we just wanted to get out so when you're outside you can work out you have great fitness you can go hiking yeah. you can go swimming you can get fresh fruit all of that type of shit when you're in the house you just in the house yes you can watch tv from the comfort of your couch and you got ac and all that type of shit but you can't go outside and get real vitamin D. The most you could do is like open up the windows in the shade. Oh, yeah. You're what? missing out on all of that type of shit. I if you're outside, you still can. If you're outside, you still can go to barbecues. You still Come can go on. to cookouts. You can still it's go to outside parties, day parties, all that type of shit. You miss all of that in the house. I'm so, I'm, I'm going oh. outside. No, what you guys are forgetting about a little thing called Oculus VR. You want to take a walk? Take a virtual reality walk. You want to oh, go to no. a virtual barbecue? You want to go to outside and, and, and weather the... Like, but you're not moving. Hmm? You're not moving. You're just doing this. I in mean, place. you got to draw your grid. It's very limited, but you're still moving. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I can't know. Listen, Pat, I, I, I know Pat. Terrible when I can't leave my house for one day, I'd be like, oh my gosh, I didn't leave the house today. I'd be feeling horrible. Pat, Pat, as no, he's sitting up here capping. This nigga be on boats. 
He yeah. be in the middle of the desert shooting music videos. He's playing real life fruit ninja in Airbnbs. <laughs> and this nigga talking about, yeah, man, but outside this, outside that, nigga, stop I capping. Could, I could do a six month bid if I had to, because if you're just always outside and you can't go in to like lay down, I, that's miserable to me. Man, you be fat as but shit. But you could be in a tent you, and you're you would look like a pineapple. Right. No, I, I would um I would work out in, inside, indoors, musty. But Pat, if you were in the house for six months, how would you get your hat? Never mind. Damn it! I was with you, brother. You should. <laughs> you didn't even have to do them like that. Never mind. You? It's not man, like that. Man, one our house calls. <laughs> That would that would not be at the top of Pat's list at all. Like, oh, I mean, like, I'm not going nowhere. <laughs> what what hair hair for? His <laughs> armpits be matching his hair. He's like, hey, look what we got here. <laughs> that would be connected. That would be connected. <laughs> He'd be walking around like a puppet. Step on him. Ah, my armpit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Imagine it God. being that long. You got somebody else twitching you up like this, like. <laughs> Why do y'all think that I just shave my armpits, period? But just because I'm going outside, I, I would <laughs> trim it before it got to that length just for me. <laughs> Dread um, armpits? <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm, going, going I'm staying outside. I'm going inside. With it. I'm going inside. I, th I think I, I don't know. It's tough because like being outside. Yeah, like, you would be outside. You know, good and well, you can't stay nowhere in the house for no six months. You couldn't even do it for one month. So there's no way you're going to choose inside. And you, that vitamin D, man, your, 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 your freckles are going to be albino. Damn. I have no freckles no more. In the house with no freckles? That'd be crazy. You'd be a whole <laughs> different person. Like, yep. His smooth face. He's like Asian for some reason. <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm I'm really torn. How you gonna get the hot dogs from 7 Eleven? They don't deliver. Postmates, Postmates deliver 7 Eleven hot dogs too. Postmates. You've done deliver. that before? Oh, do they? Mm -hmm. You deliver the hot dog? 7 Eleven. Mm -hmm. You could have had any like your insides part, really. Post base is partnered with 7 Eleven, so yeah, they, they can deliver the hot dogs. You dog. knew I'm about the Luscious. partnership. <laughs> you don't get the updates? You don't get the dog. This is the collab hot dog right here. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't never yeah, my man, how long has it been spinning? How long has it been spinning? About 15 minutes or five hours? <laughs> Now I have the Postmates driver FaceTime me so I can tell him which one I want. I let them, and I pointed at the grill, pointed at the grill. All right, that one in the center, not that one, that one to the right, that one, that's the one. That's a yeah, taquito, that's nigga, one. come on, man, know your dogs. Oh, give me that too. Let me get that hot dog and tell them to make the, tell them to make a pizza. Give me that too. <laughs> turn, turn, turn the camera, do we, do we got a pack of cues, a there. pack of cools? <laughs> <laughs> I don't put it put it on the cash here. What up, Muhammad? My nigga. <laughs> I see you in six months, baby. Six, yeah, 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 yeah. For sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. They you still watching race cars? cars? That's what's up. That's what's up. Everybody, Let they me get two scratch offs too. Can I get two scratch offs? You need to see my ID. I gotta put my ID up to the camera. This is me, Muhammad. Come on, baby. <laughs> Like, Let me get them menthol dogs. Yeah. <laughs> menthol dogs. Takes them out one by one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Y'all stupid. It will be something. <laughs> good. Y'all ain't gonna stop sleeping no 7 Eleven cuisine, my boy. That should be good. Not cuisine. There's nothing cuisinous about it. They got condiments, they got salt and pepper, and they got forks and knives. Anything that has that cuisine, my nigga. No. Anytime they have condiments and condoms in the same location is a problem. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Because fancy restaurants used to have the little turn machine in the bathroom for fellas. For free. Yeah, did that is that done? I've, I've been I haven't that. seen that. I mean, you gotta go to a CD place. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be a condom, a sex pill, and then Pepsi and AC right next to each other. <laughs> right, and a Motrin. <laughs> what are y'all doing in the bathroom, man? <laughs> Meanwhile, in the women's bathroom, we got tampons. Y'all got yeah. all this like stuff Wait, that we absolutely need. Tampons and condoms sometimes in women's. Listen, women? 
I no? think I've seen it. Not like in years, though. The bathroom attendants at clubs be selling condoms too. It was like, bro, what? What are you yeah. doing, man? Yeah. They're it. like, we know how freaky and drunk and how y'all be rolling in this bathroom. By any chance, you you gonna do it? Be responsible, at least. That's the worst. They probably sell at least one condom a night, y'all. Man, he be getting those condoms from Planned Parenthood. They be all different colors and all different <laughs> brands. Like, why you got this Trojan with this lifestyle with this Rough Rider? <laughs> Where are you shopping at? And, and they sell them individually? Like, bro, where's the box? Yeah. <laughs> you want where's the corners at? <laughs> <laughs> he be taking he be taking the tips like, thank you, sir. Would you yeah. like some Trojans or lifestyles? All right, here we go. It, the worst <laughs> is when they already take it out the package for you. So it's like it's already it's already taken out, my boy. Oh nigga, right taking the condom out. Do you mind if I put it on for you? Remember, <laughs> if it's the wrong way, I can bounce it around. This in a bowl of lubricant. This is in a bowl of lubricant to keep it fresh. He got it. He got it in a Tupperware. He's just like, go ahead, reach and grab it once. The oh, biggest, yo, the biggest already, size is on the bottle. <laughs> already unrolled. They just like suck. <laughs> yeah. Let me slide it on for you, brother. There it is. <laughs> so what you want to do? You want to reach in there, grab it, blow some air in, and then just throw it on it real quick. That's the best way to do it. <laughs> Nigga, let me tell you about the time a girl had aborted a mission and then changed her mind, but already I took the condom off, and I had to try to, I tried to put that thing back on. <laughs> Wait, what? I was yeah. like, I don't think we should do this today. I was like, damn. And then she's like, where you at? And I was like, I'm downstairs. Like, come back up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. <laughs> I was like, hey. you were putting the, the condom on in the car. You were putting it on in the car. <laughs> hey man, that's that's the point of the joke. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I definitely going over somebody's house with it already wrapped. Why? Listen, it don't take that listen, long. Listen, hit me out. Hit me what? out. Listen, listen, listen. I did it in the car when I was parking, like threw it on because I was like, as soon as I get in, I'm just grab a bender over, take it right there on the table, right? Man, I just got this motherfucker house. She had food on the table. I was like, I got to sit through this meal. <laughs> Rubbing against your jeans. It Man, like, I lit on it. Listen, I got to swap it out at that point because ain't no, ain't getting, you ain't getting all the. Don't it get dry? Yes, that's what I'm saying. It's 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 but it's like off. from from the walk to the car to the house, yeah. you're good. If we got to sit through a 30 minute <laughs> dinner, nigga, no. <laughs> you have no yeah, idea. Yeah, that is logic is so far because then it's still in your rubbing against your pants. So it's now yeah. getting dry. Like that doesn't even make sense. Lint, lint and everything's on it. Ew. <laughs> Putting lint yeah. up in that poor woman. You, right. you have no idea the stress a man goes through when you, when you have to make that decision of, damn, that condom is way on the other room. We already making out, we sucking, we licking. He's like, if I if I go over there and grab that condom, I might ruin this whole moment. Are y'all used to them changing their minds on the walk over to the condom? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not. I just want to come in with it on. <laughs> I just wanted to be spontaneous. That's why I did. I was just ready to be spontaneous, just right through the door, just like boom, let's get uh -huh. it. Right. Another thing is, you know how hard it is to keep an erection like for nothing. Like so, to get the condom on, I had to get an erection in the car, and I had to, I'm I'm pulling up videos looking at the car. I right, got it strong enough. Now I got to throw it on there. I got to stroke it a little bit to keep it, keep the blood in there, and then make it to the door yes, not wait till she get there. <laughs> Nigga, That's your window. window. You deserve that. You Excuse deserve me, sir. Um, can I ask you what you're doing with your dick out? <laughs> you're in the parking lot. <laughs> I, was, sir, uh, I don't know what you're doing, but I'm don't. getting ready. I was role playing, officer. With who? Myself. You know Cheryl in 312? Oh, okay. Okay, I get it now. I get it. <laughs> Same thing happened to me on Tuesday. <laughs> I, I Let's put it to it. a vote. Let's put it to a vote. Y'all staying outside or y'all staying inside? What y'all doing? My vote is waiting until you're you're already inside to put the condom on. Nigga, that is not the topic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with you, Pat. Yeah. <laughs> Pat, you a, you a do gooder, okay? And I'm sick of your shit, okay? Because you That's act like awful. you out here, you act like you out here all responsible. Pat, I know you didn't went raw and throw that dick in some some treacherous holes before. <laughs> not said holes, not H O E S. I'm not calling anybody hole. I've said treacherous holes before. I know you no had some scares. No woke up the next holes. morning, was like, I have to go to Planned Parenthood. <laughs> no treacherous holes for me. <laughs>
I go in there with a flashlight, just like the cop. <laughs> okay. <laughs> ah, I see your your chlamydia, ma'am. I can't do it. <laughs> ma'am? Ty, what you doing? Uh, in an effort to stay away from you people that put condoms on before you get to the main event, I'm it's staying right. in the house. I don't need to be out here with Women y'all. Talking doing, about they want I didn't a know planner. people was doing. Unless you Women talking about they want a man that's a planner, that takes initiative. We gave you an um, amazing scenario and all you saw was the negative in it. That, that's happened. not what we meant. Like you, you did not understand baby. the assignment. <laughs> like I do not have a problem with you taking a few moments to ensure that we do not have a child. Yes. It's also Great. it's also a little like, you know, if you pull your pants out, it's already on. It's just like, oh, you thought you was just- <laughs> Yeah, like that yes. would make me be like, that's why they changed yes. their minds because y'all already coming Every in there with listen. it. I'm like, you, no, you I don't invited, want that. You invited me over at 11 o'clock. I had no idea hamburger <laughs> hamper was on the goddamn menu, okay? I didn't I didn't know who was gonna do. She just got home from work and she just wanted to see you. Meg, no, this was just, it was college, Meg. She just was like, hey, what you doing? Yeah, like, she want to see the girth. <laughs> she want to see, it's happy girth day. That's what's wrong with you, dude. It's my girth day. I always day. think it's time Leon, to Yeah, what you home. doing? What you doing? I'm going outside. Meg? Oh, we knew that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if I'm choosing, I'm going to choose LA, then I'll choose outside. All right, Pat? I'm where my bed is inside. I'm gonna be outside. You yeah. understand know I me? Mean? I'm in these streets and in these tents. Uh, it's a little like the outside habit on that one. We're gonna jump into this next topic right after that. <clears throat> Our family won't be together for the holidays this year, but I found a way to bring us all together. Safely, I might add, a hand painted compilation portrait from Paint Your Life. And it makes the perfect gift. Get a professional hand-painted portrait created from any photo at a truly affordable price. Or you can even combine photos or places or things all into one photo. Choose from a team of world-class artists and work with them on every detail until it's perfect. And it's fast. You can receive your portrait in as little as two weeks. You see, Paint Your Life makes the perfect birthday, anniversary, or wedding gift. It's meaningful, personal, and it's a gift that can be cherished forever. I love my portrait from Paint Your Life. They got the essence of your boy's beautiful beard, perfectly hazel eyes, and they even threw him a little cul-de-sac on top. You know, they, they got it perfectly down to the details. At PaintYourLife.com, there are no risk. If you don't like the final portrait, your money is fully refunded, guaranteed. And right now, there is a limited time offer. Get 20% off your painting. That's right, 20% off and free shipping. To get this special offer, text the word CAST to 64,000. That's CAST to 64,000. Text CAST to 64,000. Paint your life. Celebrate the moments that matter the most. Terms apply. Available at paintyourlife.com slash terms. And again, text CAST to 64,000. Have you ever dreamed of winning awesome prizes like winning a Tesla, doing karaoke with Charlize Theron, going to outer space with Virgin Galactic? Then you have to check out Omaze. It's the new way to give back to charity and have fun doing it. Here's how Omaze works. You enter for a chance to win something amazing. And at the same time, you can donate to support some great causes. It's a fun and easy way for nonprofits to raise money and for you to win big prizes like a customized Jeep Wrangler. I love the Jeep Wrangler's design. I'm taking it on all my trips, especially when I go camping. Here's how it works. Go to omaze.com squad and select the Jeep Wrangler or a different experience of your choosing. Once you've selected your prize, Choose a donation amount from $10 to $150. The more you donate, the more entries you get. Through your entries, Omaze has raised over $150 million to support over 350 nonprofits all around the world. 
Omaze was named in Fast Company's 2020 Most Innovative Companies and featured in Good Morning America. The Today Show and Stephen Colbert. Everyone deserves a chance to live their dreams. And with Omaze, extraordinary prizes are within everyone's reach. Enter today for your chance to win the custom Jeep Wrangler or other life-changing prizes and experiences at omaze.com slash squad. Plus, receive 20 extra entries when you enter the code SQUAD20. That's O-M-A-Z-E dot com slash squad. Next topic of the day, we have would you rather eat ramen noodles for a year versus hot dogs for a year? Is the health out of the question? Like, this is like, you won't... Like, it's just about your preference. It's not about, like, because I feel like... Hey, man, all, all things are considered. All things are considered. <clears throat> I mean, is it exclusive? Like, only this? Only this. I mean, listen, if you want to spice up your type ramen with, like, an egg or something like that, yeah, that's fine. You want to do some garnish or stuff like that, that's fine. But you can't, like, you can't add, like, all the meat and all that type of stuff to it. It's not that it, because then it makes it something else. It's, we're, not, we're, going, we're not going to get ramen. You got top ramen. Murray Chowry in here in. Whatever that one is. What? What is it called? What's it called? <laughs> what's it? What's it? I didn't hear what you had said. Red Squigglies, help me. Come on, Red Squigglies. Murray Chowry in. Murray Chowry in. Murray Chowry in. It's Marichan. Five Marichan. Marichan. You had five <laughs> yeah. I had to back out. I had nothing. I knew what you were trying to say. And I just said, I'm sorry. Oh my god! I was watching you say noodle jump. soup. Okay, oh. can you say? Can you pronounce that one? Noodle oh. soup. Oh man! Top ramen. Just, yeah, just, top ramen. Just say top good. ramen. That's why it's okay. that's why it's bigger than the other one because people can say top ramen. <laughs> <laughs> people can say top ramen. Let me get the uh, let me get the top ramen. <laughs> I don't know what that says. <laughs> Oh. just gave up instant noodles they're just like bro just... Yeah. oh my wait God. any brand instant noodles any brand hot dogs mm-hmm. right top ramen wait so only one brand of noodles <clears throat> yeah but you get any flavor. So only one what's the one brand of hot dog then so no hot links oscar meyer <clears throat> this is this is so left is it like do you want hey, hear me or do you want high carbs or both see I'm gonna go with the top ramen because you can razzle dazzle noodles with all kinds of sauces. Mm-hmm. You can use the seasoning packet that comes in the top ramen. Mm-hmm. You can hit it with the soy sauce, mm-hmm. throw a little egg on there. Okay, you could do you know the sweet and sour, right. you know, pilot. You could. I'm going noodles. Sour. That's where I'm going. Top See, ramen. With the hot dog though, you can boil the hot dog. You could grill the hot dog. You could fry the hot dog. You could boil it, then throw it in the in the in the, in the skillet to give like a little crisp to it too. So now it's plump and and grilled. Goddamn me! You could do hot sauce. I'm not hot sauce. You do barbecue sauce. You ketchup and uh, mustard. You could do uh, mm. mayo and mustard. You do pickles on. I like the personal pickles on my hot dog. Real fire. You could slice it down the middle and make a sandwich out of that bitch. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, so you can change it to sandwich. You can change the hot dog. I mean, it's still a hot dog, though. Because so the only thing going on the sandwich is, yeah, okay. the only thing going on the sandwich is a hot dog and the condiments that you want to put in it. But yeah, you can do all that. Pretzel buns, brioche buns, there's hella buns. Too. Hey, man, you go crazy with that they sound shit. Sound like death. They both sound like death to me. They are. Could it be an impossible hot dog or beyond? If, hot I, dog? if Oscar Mayer makes an impossible hot dog, you yeah, there we go. You can <laughs> have chicken. You can have beef. You can have the pork. You can have yeah. the mystery meat, which is all three. You know what I'm saying? You got options that's a, that's and a chicken. A they say yeah. it says mystery on it. <laughs> and 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 there's a guy on there like this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anything can happen, I baby. I just looked up what is. <laughs> you know what's in a hot dog? Man, Rami don't start that shit. Crazy. Don't start Pizza that shit. We don't care. Products. You're not going to stop no, anybody. Wait, wait. Low grade muscle trimmings, fatty tissues, head meat, animal feet, animal skin, blood, liver, and other edible slaughter byproducts. What the heck? You're just hey, I'm going to send, send you this video. I'm going to send you this video I found of somebody <laughs> digesting uh, ramen noodles, right? They don't digest. The stomach was like pressing against it. And the shit just wouldn't go away. It just comes out. It gets in the acid and it dissolves a little bit. But they don't digest. You ain't getting no nutrition. But it come out your butt, don't it? 
Same way hot, do, hot dogs do, my niggas. No, but hot uh There's so many uh, stuff. But also, to, to shit on top ramen, I seen somebody rebuild a whole sink with the, the making oh, of yeah. top ramen. I've seen I a lot of those videos. That sounds yummy. Sinks, walls, Sinks. all that. They'll find a wall <laughs> with a hole in it, crunch up the top ramen, put it in that hole, sand it down, put that <clears> resin <throat> over it, and then paint it, and then it fucking fit. Now you got who, a ramen who wall. figured that out? That sounds That's actually, so and then when you get hungry, you just punch the wall and go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, you're the only person that gets hungry and punches the wall and eats it. <laughs> that <laughs> sounds very. Hey, woman, who the fuck does that? What, what, what if you very punch economical. the wrong What if you punch the wrong side of the wall? They're like, man, that's drywall right there. Man, oh, wouldn't damn. care. She wouldn't care. <laughs> I take her it. hoof and just, she'll still just eat. <laughs> <laughs> Not her huff. That's why they call me Meg Scoop. <laughs> what, really? Really, Dion? <laughs> Let me live, yo. Hey, low key though, if you've ever been to a hot dog restaurant where it's just all types of hot dogs, they be dressing the hell out of them. Boy, yeah. I, I when we went to dog. Chicago, we went to that hot dogs, but I forgot the name of uh starts with a P or something. I had never had like pickles and I'm sorry, not pickles, tomatoes and peppers and all that stuff on the hot dog. Man, that shit fire, my nigga. It yeah. was fire. I'm I'm going hot dog. Yeah. There's a there's a there's a um a, a hot dog place downtown LA. They had they sell rattlesnake and oh worst kush. Yes. Yes. Wait, 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 wait. rattlesnake meat? Nah, his his sneakers. What, what else is part of the rattlesnake can we eat? <laughs> I'm saying no as a hot dog. You said it's a hot dog's place. And I was like, wait, like rattlesnake <laughs> for the hot dog? Yeah, they Shut up, Dion. It's like that blend of shit. Oh, no, his stinkers. Oh. That's why you Yo. stay lacking. Ha. Oh, Yo. man. You mean the rattlesnake as a meat? What are we talking about here? <laughs> <laughs> hot dog like, but hot dog is usually rattlesnake meat. That's the thing. It's exotic. They have rattlesnake and rabbit to mixed in together. They have duck and something else mixed in together. It's pretty wild. Nauseous. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's sneaker. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine hey. he has some sneakers on. <laughs> Hey, the rattle probably slaps though. <laughs> if you think about it, <laughs> like chips, <laughs> like chips, <laughs> man, rattle. Oh, man. sunflower seeds. <laughs> That's to yeah. see it through, my boy. <laughs> Dominated that animal. <laughs> if you're doing this with his rattle. <laughs> 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 Did that animal wrong as hell? Yeah. No, no, I, I, nigga, the, the chicken. No, his sneakers. Nigga, Yo. Meg was totally invested in hearing about these sneakers. <laughs> nigga, the yeah. man, what else are we talking? About? <laughs> oh boy, this is good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <Nick>. oh, <laughs> y'all keep messing with Meg. She gonna whoop y'all ass one day. <laughs> She's in Atlanta. We're good. <laughs> oh. oh shit! <laughs> I wish I wish Meg would fly all the way to LA to try to do something to us. I throw some rattlesnake sneakers at her ass. <laughs> 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 I wonder what's in a rattle though now. Like, what makes the noise? <laughs> I think it's isn't it uh, skin shedding? That's that's what it is. Like really? old skin inside of the the end of the rattlesnake. I think that's what. Makes really? It. I, I heard it's not. Is, now I have to like look this up. Look at it. It's, up, just, right? it's just bone. I was gonna say, uh, Pat Geo, do your thing. Pat the know it. is made of special hollow scales on the tip of the snake's tail. These scales um, are loosely connected. Uh, when it vibrates the tail, the scales rapidly strike against each other, making a buzzing sound. Oh, he, oh, he, uh, to your right. Each time the snake sheds its skin, a new segment is added at the base of the rattle. Oh, so he gets like new drip every single time. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Can you eat it though? 
<laughs> That's just, let's get back to this. I feel like you can fry it up and it'd be nice and crunchy. That's what give it the little rattle sound. Somebody gonna somebody gonna eat it because people just be out here just eating everything. Eat I mean, everything. people eat ass. Why they wouldn't eat yes. rattlesnake? Rattle. I, they I love the, there's a lot of trial snake snake rattle. <laughs> <laughs> we, we literally have tried every single animal and we figure out all the the bad and the good. Oh. Like, don't don't eat don't eat the honey badger. That shit right there. Fuck you up. Like you never hear that. You you hear every other animal. That's my favorite you animal. You never hear. Not, not every animal. You don't hear nothing about uh armadillo. You don't want to fuck with the armadillos either. <laughs> they don't look gang like fuck with armadillos though either. Or rhinoceros. Well, uh, armadillo. They just don't look like they're. Nah, they don't. They don't. Yeah. Uh, I don't think you can eat the rattle. Oh, God. And that shell is hard as hell. I ran over one one time in Hinesville, Georgia. That shit almost leveled my car. Damn. <laughs> to be, <laughs> they are hard. That is true. <laughs> this thing is like, almost leveled by like, car, bro. I was like, like ah. you had over a minefield. Like, <laughs> I need shocks because I didn't know. I didn't even see it, and so we riding in the car, and because me and my brother used to do this thing, we riding in the car, and I hit, and like the car like buckled. Like I was like, yo, what the hell was that? He was like. 125 points. I was like, nigga, what I hit? Because we used to give each other points if we hit something. And he was like, that's 125 points. I didn't know it was on the point scale. And we went back to look at it and like the shell of an armadillo is so hard. That wow. shit almost flipped my little Mitsubishi Mirage over. I almost died. How you didn't see an armadillo? Aren't they like big? To be fair, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> it was the 90s. I was having a good time. It's Hinesville, oh Georgia. It's a stretch of road that has like one street lamp per mile. So it was dark. I didn't see this. I'm going to look up Armadillo. I'm going to see how big they are. See if you can eat them. They're big enough to like see. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> my first question about every animal can you eat it? <laughs> I mean, what is that? I don't think you could eat an armadillo. Like, all the good stuff the is under that shell. probably soft, right? That's, I think it's extra. Yeah, deep. that's what I'm saying. The inside is probably all soft and good you shit because that it shell. It's like a turtle. You know the oh, bottom of the turtle. Yeah. Motherfuckers have turtle soup and shit, but, you know. True. I don't oh, know. You can't eat them. We are Who is out here man. eating armadillos? We are scavengers. Where do you even find one? In Mexico. Wait, and South is America. the plural form of armadillo armadillos? Armadillas or armadilla? Armadilla. Like, see, I don't know. Mm, I don't know, but I think we should put it to a vote. Hey. Does it taste like fine grained, <laughs> high quality pork? Everything <laughs> tastes like pork. pork armadillo bacon. I want um, what is the question? I bet that shit is hard. Oh, I'm I'm going. <laughs> I see what you did. I see what you did. That shit go hard. Oh. Top oh. ramen for a year or hot dogs for a year? Which I go with? Um, top mm -hmm. ramen. You know what? No, I forgot. I forgot. We can have vegan, vegan hot dogs. Let me go. Let me go. Oh. Hot dogs. Okay. As as taking like a vegetable. I mean, I'm trying to. You know, level no, out. but Oscar Mayer don't make no vegan hot dogs. They might, they might have, they might have a one. They don't. There's not a might. They don't make it. I'm gonna look it up right now, Max. Wait, so go ahead, finna do. do whatever you about to finna can do. You, can you eat um ramen? Can you, add meat to it? you said you could add eggs, so you can add meat to it, right? No, just eggs. No. What? That's what he said at the beginning. No. You can't add the meats. So just ramen stuff, because you could ramen be having chicken. Just, just that's what said. The, just the egg and the some varnish, <laughs> and about, you can't tell nobody why you doing this. They're like, me, you doing this again every day, brother? Yeah. Oh, Can I put different. cheese in it? Because sometimes I put cheese in my top room. Can we do that? Yeah, if your nasty ass want to. Wait. So okay, Seven Eleven hot dog postmate eating ass nigga. Like, don't I had your back? Don't look. a wait, slice wait. of cheese is different oh than what gosh, you be doing. I, I thought we was cool. Hold up, <laughs> wait. <laughs> you just Ty, made me mad. Nah, listen, your ponytail ain't long enough for you to yell at me like that. Oh, so you either go get the extension <laughs> down or, or simmer down. I want you to bring it the. <laughs> oh girl, you want me to go with you to Cali and beat him up? 
Because I have to say, hey, Meg, let's go ahead and let's, let's look at, like, let's get out there. I got to hear his voice. You know what? To hear me to see no, You know what? Let's just, he, he about to die anyway, because I just saw this study over here. <laughs> he about to die. Watch. It says, uh, hot dogs shorten your life. Every hot dog shaves off 36 <laughs> minutes of okay. your life. So that's okay. That. How I do saw, they know I that? I saw that, and I don't give a fuck. But how do they know that? Like, did they literally no, wait I... for someone to die and be like, mm, he had a hot dog 30 minutes ago. <laughs> and it, had he not, he be like, there's no way you can scientifically test right. that because I mean, you don't know when people are going to die. Right. you like, I fuck a hot dog up. He actually died from him. kidney failure. He, I don't know what that hot dog is about, but he, he died from natural cause. He, he died from a bicycle accident, but that hot well, dog. How about the vegans? The people that eat clean and they exercise and they all healthy and that's it. All they eat is leaves and shit. And then they get hit by a bus. Yeah. You could have went out with a bacon. Sandwich. With a bacon? Just with one bacon. bacon. <laughs> Just <laughs> one bacon. A bacon. In contrast, yeah. it says nuts add 26 minutes to your life. What? How do they know? If that I don't case, know. I'm, I'm not into science. You know I've put in my mouth. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> nice. But you know, you gonna live long. You about she to live long, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So where we going with Dion? You said hot dogs, hot uh, dogs and nuts. Cool. Pat, what you going with? Wait. So if we're shooting and we there's lunch break, we have to bring a hot dog or a, a ramen, and we can't tell anybody. <laughs> 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 that changes things. You can't tell anybody that this is like a, a, a <laughs> experiment. <laughs> hey, you like, want something to sell? No, they just yeah. order it for you. They, have they know that's your favorite food, so they I'll always get it for you. Or your top ramen. Uh, yeah. They I'll start questioning, like, hey, your pack keep ordering the hot dogs. You all right? <laughs> How is this stool? So, <laughs> hot dog, hot dog for Dion, hot dog for Pat. I'm going hot dog. Meg, you, what you doing? I'm doing top ramen represent for my Asian. I'm top ramen. I'm going well, top ramen. Hot dogs have it, so y'all said, shut up. We win. <laughs> yes. Yes. <Jeez>. Losers. <laughs> Aggressive. Yeah. We're coming to this last topic right out of this. We deserve to know where we're putting in our bodies and why, especially when it comes to something that we're taking every single day. Ritual's clean, vegan-friendly multivitamin is formulated in high-quality nutrients in bioavailable form that your body can actually use. What you won't find is sugars, GMOs, major allergens, synthetic fillers, and artificial colorants. Plus, the fresh taste and the delayed release capsule design makes taking your vitamins easier. Look, I love Ritual. I started taking it because I needed a multivitamin since I'm getting a little bit older, and I needed something that was more on the vegan-friendly side, so I decided to go with Ritual. And the taste is just ah, just easier and fresher. And it tastes better than any other multivitamin that I've ever had. You always know what nutrients you're taking and where they come from. Thanks to Ritual's one-of-a-kind visible supply chain. It's now available for men, women, and teens. Ritual's multivitamins are scientifically developed to help support different life stages. Get key nutrients without the BS. Ritual is offering my listeners 10% off during their first three months. Visit ritual.com slash squad. That's ritual.com slash squad to start your ritual today. Last topic of the day, we have Will Smith's rap career versus Nick Cannon's rap career. Let me say this real quick. <laughs> I am so sick of the Will Smith disrespect. We are Man. acting like the last few weeks, we've been acting like Will Smith ain't Will Smith. Right. I'm not gonna say anything about Jada. <clears throat> But I will say this, getting jiggy with it, okay? Welcome to it's my- It's a bop. Men in black. Someone help me with this here. Summer can I, time. Can I, have to, can, I, can, I, can I alter this to here? Can we do Fresh Prince versus Will Smith? No, we already did that No. One. We did something like that. Because I was like, this is disrespectful, man. Why, why is Nick Cannon a part of this? Hey man, Nick Cannon had bars, bro. He did. Name me uh, one Nick Cannon song that's not Gigolo. Go. That, that's that. He's not canceled. Listen. Wait, wait, wait. The Nick Cannon show theme song. <laughs> did he do? Did he perform that actually? I don't know. That might have been Julio. <laughs> that's how he comes on stage. Julio was but doing. The thing everything. is, it's not. That's not fair, man. It's like well, I don't know any of his songs. Like I'm looking I at them. I just know Gigolo. That's it. Hang on. Let me. Let me he see. had a song called. Um, Oh, I never heard of uh before. Shorty. 
Shorty was How a How does block. that go? Man, chill out, bro. Listen, if you know the B-side of a Nick Cannon album, you're a murderer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he like, did a uh, <laughs> He did songs for white people, something like that. He did, uh, your pops don't like me. Parents just don't understand. You know what I mean? It's, oh, it's, you know, that's Will, you know, Nick. Will Smith did parents just don't understand. Yeah, that's true. Nick Cannon, I'm looking, it was for Jimmy Neutron, Boy Genius. So that was 2004. Yeah. Um, but it was his song. Come on, guys, he he got Shorty, he got Big Clouds, he got Pray for What are they? Can someone Nick sing Shorty, these? I don't know. What feeling freaky. Y'all don't remember feeling freaky? Like, if I, how did it go? You sing? How did right. it go? Sing it. Feeling no, it's not cool, freaky. Man. Yeah. Um, Feeling freaky. Freaky. <laughs> no, y'all, y'all singing two totally different songs. I don't. No, no, no. I was backing them up. I was just ad libs. I don't do. I don't have to go. Y'all are making go. this up. These are not real songs. No, shorty, shorty, cool, shorty, 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 shorty. Uh, you know stop, man. Nah. Shorty, Is that really how it goes? Yeah. Stop, Pat. I don't know no. the <laughs> Shorty and get it don't go shorty. like that. It don't go like that. It was like saying, it it's like saying Shaquille I, O'Neal versus Nick Van Axel. Like, listen, why all I'm doing saying this? is for every good Will Smith song, there's an equally as bad song as well. All right. First of all, getting jiggy with it, no. Okay. Absolutely. It's a classic. That's a white That's classic. Amazing. That's amazing. No, no, we first. love getting jiggy with no, it. No, we do not. No, 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 no. And Miami, Miami, let's let's talk about how trash Miami was, okay? First of all, that taught a lot of us how to speak Spanish, so you mm-hmm. shut it up. Well, we love you. Bienvenido a Miami. Right, what? I didn't even know what that meant before that song. No. I still don't. Yep. <laughs> we, don't. we got, we got parents just don't understand. I don't we like got that. Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, Summertime. Oh, yeah. Nightmare on my street. They play summertime all the time. What about Brand new what, folk? What about Switch? What is that? How does it go? What is that? Switch. Uh, nah, 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 oh yeah, nah, nah. that was a bop. Don't act. Don't act oh, like no, you. That you, you, you. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> it was, wait, wait, wait. It was tolerable. Okay. No, and people, it was not. And people did the. People actually did the thing. No, you know? it was nobody nah. was in the club doing the switch. Yeah. No one. We but every club. good like every that. good song he has, he has an equally as bad song. But Nick Cannon has all Gigolo. bad songs. <laughs> no, right, Gigolo all bad songs. Gigolo is a good song, but we just can't play it because of the hook. Wild but, Wild West. Yup, Wiki Wild Wild, Wild West. Yup, Millennium. You just the two of us. Millennium. Oh, Listen, come Wild, on. Wild Wild West. Hits. Wild Wild West is also responsible for him not taking Matrix. So the movie and the song, <laughs> we have to credit that for Will not being Neil. So if you're saying oh, that's good. you pick the I'm Wild glad. Wild West and you think it's a bop, and you're saying you never wanted to see a black Neil. I just Wild want Wild West that. saved the Matrix. I think it saved. I think Keanu Reeves was who we like needed. that movie. And I do. I agree. I, I agree. <laughs> I agree wholeheartedly. I really agree wholeheartedly. I couldn't and, deal with Will's laugh. I mean, yell in in the Matrix. Hey! I couldn't deal with that. Oh, <laughs> in the Matrix. But we forget <laughs> the best thing that came out of Wild Wild West was the the song. The song was the best part about it. Forget the movie. We're going straight to uh, go to first of all, Wild Drew Hill. Wild. Like there will be no Drew Hill slander. That Drew Hill really gave to that to that song. He made so. that song. It's still Will Smith. And song. we can fight about it to hear because I don't like your face. I, <laughs> I, I don't like you. I don't like what your face is doing. <laughs> so if you want to fight, just say because it was all love just a week ago when I saw you. But now if you want to <laughs> square up next time I see you, you can just uh, say that. Uh, uh. My little fight ponytail. What's up? We fight niggas. <laughs> what you want, Jay? <laughs> you and yeah, your you're right. You know, girl was nah, ponytail. If you, if you run up on me. You hey. run up on me, Ty. The first thing I'm gonna do is grab that ponytail. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. How about this? Like, when I run up, you, you can't go grab it. You gotta be reaching I'm, up I'm not even gonna have it. hair on. I'm gonna already be little I'm, ponytail exposed. I'm gonna do this real quick. I'm like, who you think you talking to? My little pigtail gonna be out. What up, cuz? They're <laughs> <laughs> lying because you know good and well you gotta look up to Ty. <laughs> Thank you, Meg. You can't reach her ponytail with them little Tyrannosaurus Rex arms. Oh, yeah. Get into, Get into it. Get into it, Meg. Mount Everest back. What? Your back is double the size of mine, Mount Kilimanjaro. No, it's not. 
No, it's not, man. <laughs> you know, you know that's not true. You know, every time we took a trip, you had yes. to sit in the handicap seat because it had more backspace. So don't you sit up here and tell <laughs> tell that type of lie. You tell the truth for the shame. You got a bigger. Your back is a little wider than mine. A little bit, just a barely. That's not true, <laughs> man. You have to buy your bras from AAA. You got to have a ratchet on it. Click it in play. <laughs> What? Not from Triple A. I called them today too. Why would you? I know. I know, I know you <laughs> did. Because <laughs> you said, still I on know. my account. I'm like, what the fuck is this six hundred dollar charge for? <laughs> Wait, that means I have Megan, big boobs. So thank you, Megan. Megan. <laughs> so. We're we being very aggressive. Okay. I don't like this energy to hear. I would like us to be more listen, listen, I'm, this being, isn't really I'm our getting vibe. Meg before she gets me. Y'all know every episode Meg come out with something for me or she's like, you ugly, you stupid. So I'm just getting her before she get a chance to get me. Girl, okay. That is, a, that is a perpetual you ugly. I don't even have to say it all the time. It just lasts. <laughs> it applies every episode. Oh, so we all agree on Will Smith. You say what? We all agree on Will Smith. Come up. I'm still waiting for somebody to sing me a Nick Cannon song outside. You of know Nicolo. a Nick Cannon song. Don't <laughs> Nobody that. can. That's not <laughs> true, Ty Davis. It was a bad Don't you sit up there and, and say that? You know Nick Cannon has some 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 bops. What? Wait a Again, wait a which one? Wait a minute, Robert. Because I didn't know we was doing. Birth certificate names. Okay, you really want to fight. All right. Okay. <laughs> it's because I miss Matt. you, Ty. We didn't get okay. to hang out when you was here and I felt some time. I know. Play. I miss you too. But you ain't oh, had to do the government. That was aggressive. Like, whoa. What's your real name? I forgot. <laughs> I don't know if I ever knew. <laughs> Say it. Say it, Ty. Say it to go. It's pretty. I think we I mean, it's that. We all got code names. It's going. It's going in a row. We all got code I names. I mean, it's not like a bad. Name. It's Tiana. Tiana. Oh, it's not yeah. Tiana. No. No. Man. Oh. What? But like, like depending on Tiana. where you from, you might say it with an accent. So like, my mother, you know, she's from Baltimore, but I think of Tiana. But I'm from the country, Tiana. 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 Uh, Dion, won't you tell everybody your first name? Okay, I'll go next. Uh, how y'all doing? My name is Dion Lack. They also call me Roderick Lacking, which is my government name. Thank you, guys. Where does Dion come from? My Roderick whole name, Lacking. My whole name is Roderick Dion Lacking. Oh. Yo, so he's shorting the, he like, the middle name. I mean, he's shortened his last name and started going by his middle name. This nigga's in protective custody. <laughs> What's not the, anymore. Roderick. Roderick's not even ugly. Rod, yeah, well, Roderick. You can go by Rod Lacking. The, the, the thing is, uh, I went from where everybody called me. Only people called me Roderick was the people from my school. And when I, once I left school, everybody just kept calling me Dion. Because you probably told them that was your name, you psycho. So, okay. You told them your name was Roderick. <laughs> I was like, hey, what's your name? My name's Dion. I moved to my, LA. My name's my, Dion. I'm cool. <laughs> You psycho. What about to hear? What about let's talk about him? <laughs> oh, to hear being a psycho. Okay. Over here telling people his name is to hear him or Robert. He did he gonna escape. <laughs> he just changed it. Robert. Robert. Patrick, Ooh. what's your last name? Patrick, Ooh. who talk about you then? You changed yeah, your last Pat, name. Why is your last name? Your last name's not Cloud. What does that even my mean? My name is my well, first of all, Patrick is short for Patrificus. And Cloud. Nigga, no. Yeah. Lying. No, that for sound real. like a something you catch on your feet. Hey, come on, man. My is that <laughs> yeah, my mom is Greek. Oh shit, this got awkward. Well, uh, uh, spell it then, Pat. Spell it. <laughs> Patrificus. Yeah. P a t r i f i c u s. Your so eyes are doing this it. as you, you had to <laughs> look it up. <laughs> you, you had to think about it. No, I did it. You, <laughs> you had to That's think about it. Trificus. Trif. <laughs> This nigga said my mom is Greek. It's <laughs> not Greek. She is Greek. Like the yogurt, you know. <laughs> Why are y'all like this? Well, Meg, your last name ain't school. I mean, hey, I know it's, it's Thomas. Is. It's on my page, though. I don't be lying. But where you get the where does Scoop come from? Where does Scoop? I always oh, wonder. It's where does because Scoop Megan Thomas is kind of boring, but Meg Scoop, it was really like I got the scoop. What you need to know? 
Got you. Okay, that makes sense. All hey, right. Robert well, shut up, Robert. It did. <laughs> it did. Meg Scoop didn't make no difference when she was on the fryer at McDonald's. They was like, why don't you scoop up some goddamn fries and get the three the fuck out? <laughs> scoop your ass some fries, man. <laughs> Oh, always got the scoop. But what you give everybody the goddamn schedules for the week, motherfucker? What you... Oh, <laughs> you know what? I don't need none of this from you, Robert, Roderick, Petrificus, oh. Tiana. I, I don't want to hear nothing from all of you. I was supporting you, Meg Scoop, Miss Scoop. I, like I like your name. I like your name a lot. I was supporting you. Oh my god, the editor. I can imagine Meg really trying to say. Time. Hey everybody, my name is Meg Scooby. They like, you may heard of the goddamn fries, Scooby. Some good time. <laughs> 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 scoop I your ass, ass out of here. <laughs> for how quickly I can scoop. <laughs> now right. what's gonna be the issue is all of the people in the comments that's gonna be spelling our names wrong. <laughs> Petrificus and they gonna Listen. they gonna tear, they gonna do my name dirty. They gonna Listen, mess it up. Y'all don't if y'all don't start putting. Fry emojis anytime Meg is on a video. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody got their own emoji. Give ice Meg cream. the goddamn fries. Give Meg, Meg okay, French fry emojis. emojis. No ice cream. <laughs> I like ice cream. Fries. Nice. fries. <laughs> anytime you talk about to here, put the gorilla emoji with the missing tooth. <laughs> So we know exactly who you talking about. <laughs> Is there the one silverback one, Meg, by Meg, the way. Meg had a mixtape. It was called Fry or Die. <laughs> <laughs> Rough <Meg> Fryer. <laughs> Come Look, outside. Meg said, <laughs> Meg said it was, it was be you better knock it like, off. Like Master P's uh, The Last Dawn. She had the, the fryer like this. <laughs> 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 Stop! Drop! Oh man! Shake it off. Put it in a box. Fries. Shut up! Fries. How about a super size? Oh my god! <laughs> Thick of you to hear. <laughs> Meg looks defeated. Like with friends <laughs> like these. Who needs enemies? Like, why would you need somebody to not like you if your friends do this to you? Oh, right? man. <laughs> He's supposed to be my brother. And you know I love you. I would lay somebody down for you, man. You ain't never got a question that a day in your Shut life. Shut up. Go clean your dentures with all them lies. You telling through them. Dentures? That was a new one. Yeah, dentures. <laughs> so who we going with Ripper? We going with Will or we going to Nick? Why are we even asking? We already know the answer. It's Will. I feel like it's unanimous. Will, 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 Will. There you go. There's I'm your answer. Everybody said Will. I'm going with Nick just to be still. No, you not. Hell no. <laughs> to hear. Why are you a villain all the time? I'm getting ready no, for the no. tour, Ty. I'm getting ready for the tour. We're we hey, going to show this. So, I'm a hey, this let's, to Will let's Smith. Let's do it. We cast the next movie. We ain't going to cast none of y'all, but fuck around. I'll be on Incredible Records dropping my mixtape. <laughs> <laughs> I just grab a bowl, nigga. You know, <laughs> whatever. Horse teeth and hot dogs for life. That's what your mixtape gonna be called. Mm -hmm. Hot dogs and fries, my nigga. You gonna do all my <laughs> ad libs? <laughs> <laughs> dun, dun. <laughs> that was hot, actually. <laughs> All right, man. Uh, one well, thing I guess we're popping in today, uh, this week. We got Ty Davis. We got Dion Lack. Shout out to the original squad, Megan Thomas, uh, aka Meg Scooper Fries. We got Patricio in the house as well to hear more. We'll see y'all next week on another episode of Squadcast versus Peace. Cocaine.